Good morning and thank you for joining me. My name is Kathleen Heim and I am author of the book titled The Rule of Nines. I previously spoke to you about chapters one, two, and three of my book. Chapter one, identifying your what's or your goals. Chapter two, identifying your why's, what are the reasons why achievement of that particular goal or goals is important to you. And then chapter number three is identifying your how's. What steps are you willing to take on a daily basis towards achievement of that particular goal? And so today I'm gonna to talk to you about chapter four of the book, identifying your payoffs. So what is a payoff? A payoff is a, a return on your investment. What are you going to get out of achievement of this particular goal? It's really important when we're identifying our payoffs that we identify what I call an intrinsic or internal payoff versus extrinsic or external payoff. So what is, what's the difference? What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna talk about extrinsic first. So I listened to a, um, a speaker one time that talked about um, your payoff from, for instance, um, working out. So he was speaking about somebody who doesn't like to exercise, so he suggested that you reward yourself with a piece of chocolate every time you go to the gym. That's extrinsic, that's something external, it's something that can be taken away. And I don't know about you, but I'm gonna have a piece of chocolate if I want a piece of chocolate, whether or not I'm going to the gym. So now let's talk about our internal or intrinsic reward system. That's something, again, that can't be taken away from you. An example of that is, um, let's say you read a textbook and you gain some knowledge. No one can take that knowledge away from you. It belongs to you. Um, it's yours. So that's what I want you to focus on is finding a, something that has a payoff that can't be taken away from you. It's internal. So, um, so how do we do that? So we, we need to visualize how our life will be different once we've obtained or achieved that particular goal. Um, for instance, let's say our goal is financial freedom. Maybe we've been kind of behind the eight ball with our finances for quite some time. So we've identified why it's important to us to obtain financial freedom and put ourselves in a better situation. Um, and why, why, why that's important. We've already identified that. And then again, how we're gonna do it. So now visualize as you're working on the steps towards achievement of that goal, visualize how your life's going to be different. What is intrinsic about that payoff? Is it gonna be um, maybe that you can sleep at night? Maybe you have anxiety that's keeping you up at night of how you're going to, um, to make your payments or how you're gonna, you know, little things like take a vacation or you know, buy Christmas gifts or, or even put food on the table. That's a big thing. So uh, visualize how your life will be different once you are in that position. And it's important every morning and every night to do this. It's really about keeping forward moving, forward thinking. How's your life gonna be different? So again, are you no longer having that anxiety that's keeping you up at night? Are you able to afford uh, that trip with your family? And then once you do have that trip with your family, how is that going to reward you intrinsically? Well, maybe that um, it's individual for everybody, but maybe that's something like your, the memories that you have that will never be taken away from you. So again, step number four, identifying your payoffs. Very important step. If you uh, think it, think it, speak it, see it, visualize it, then you become it. So, um, so I think that's a really important step. I would like to um, teach you a lot more about how to identify those payoffs in my book, The Rule of Nines, which is available for pre-order on my website at www.loveyouliveyou.com. Also, um, you can email me on the site with any questions or comments, and I will promise that I'll get back to you. Until then, have a great day. I'll see you next time to talk about chapter number five. Take care.